Hello and welcome back to Zuluba Consultants. In this video, I want to answer this question that reads, calculate the number of moles of hydrogen gas that can be produced by a reaction of 0.75 mole of hydrochloric acid with calcium metal. Now, when it comes to this reaction or to this question, basically, the question is testing you, do you know how to come up with the equation and able to balance it? So let's see how this equation comes up. So we have calcium, it is reacting with hydrochloric acid, then it is giving us calcium chloride and hydrogen gas. Now, when you look at this equation, it is not balanced, so we need to balance it. How do we balance it? It is by introducing two on the acid here. So we we'll have calcium plus two moles of the acid, giving us calcium chloride and hydrogen gas there. So this is how we have managed to balance. If you want to know more about how to balance the equation, there is a video that Zuluwa Consultants has produced that can help you to learn how to balance the equation. After you have managed to come up with this equation and you have also managed to balance it, you look at the number of moles that you have been given in the question of the acid. Now, they want us to find the number of moles of the gas that will be produced. So this question is basically testing us to use the mole ratios. Now, when you look at this number and this number here, these are the mole ratios. So we have two to one. So when two moles of the acid is used up, only one mole of the gas is produced. So if 0.75 moles of the acid is used up. How much of the gas will be produced? Here we we'll simply cross multiply. So we are saying 2x, that is 2 and x, will be equal to 0.75 multiplied by 1 is simply 0.75. So for you to find the value of x, we are saying divide by 2, divide by 2. At this point, we can simplify these two. We have x is equal to the value of 0 0.75 divided by 2 is 0 0.375 moles of hydrogen gas. So this is the number of moles of hydrogen that will be produced hope you have followed the steps that you need to do in this question the first one is to come up with the balanced chemical equation thereafter you use the molar ratios to find the number of moles of the gas produced thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on our facebook page if you have not done so until next time it is bye bye